Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk, we talk movies. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of DC Movie News Character Corner. So this week, we're going to go way back to 1942 for a character called Mr. Terrific. Uh, it was created for Sensational Comics, number one. The character's name was Terry Sloan. Uh, essentially, he was just kind of a, kind of a re renaissance man. He was a martial arts expert. He had a photographic memory. He was a really smart guy. He was a scientist. So in the early days of DC Comics, they kind of just created these generic backgrounds. And the character kind of felt he was going bored in life because he could do everything and he helped uh, save a girl from killing herself. So he kind of got like this higher calling and created the costume and called himself Mr. Terrific. And he had this, it's like a green jacket with his red pants and he had this yellow plaque on his chest that said fair play and that kind of became his catchphrase. Uh, so that's kind of the character. He was a member of the JSA, kind of a founding member of that. When DC Comics, uh, Comics wanted to reintroduce the character much later in the 90s, they created another Mr. Terrific, but this was not Terry Sloan. This is a new character called Michael Holt, and this is where it got really cool. He was introduced in The Spectre, Volume 3, in 1997. Uh, this character was like the original Terry Sloan, where he was just uh, a smart guy, and DC went even further and said he was the smartest man in the DC Universe. Uh, his wife and his child were killed in a car accident that he blamed himself for, and suicide again played into it this time, but not because he saved someone, but because he was contemplating suicide. The Spectre visited him and saw that there was great uh, greatness in him and told him about Terry Sloan. Uh, so then he created the identity of Mr. Terrific. It was a different outfit. Uh, he had kind of a, le a leather jacket. He had the fair play on it, but it was down his sleeve. Uh, he had a, a face mask that was kind of looked like it was painted on, but it was a computer generated on his face that formed a T on his face. And he had what were called T-spheres that he created that were these floating computers that went all around him. And this character kind of stayed with the JSA when it was reintroduced in 1999 and kind of became a mainstay in DC Comics. When the new 52 came out, they still used this character, but his comic only ran for a few issues and then it was canceled. So he hasn't really been around too much in the new 52. But the great thing that we got coming up is called DC Rebirth, which I am personally really excited for because as you can tell what I've talked about, when we had in the 90s, the Michael Holt character, he was influenced and they talked about the Terry Sloan character and they used that legacy. With New 52, we've kind of lost that, and DC has recognized this. So they're going back, and hopefully this character of Mr. Terrific will have all the past history with the JSA and the different versions of it and have that legacy brought back into it. We talk about it now because in the DCEU, a character called Curtis Holt is on Arrow. Uh, there was talk that he was going to become Mr. Uh, Terrific, but as you see, it's not Michael Holt. We don't know if it's his father, his brother, so they're kind of using his backstory. But he's also, if you've watched Arrow, has the T-spheres that he created and also has a leather jacket that has the fair play on it. So as the DC kind of filters into our TV world, they've taken what they like from that character and kind of peppered it in. Uh, the actor, though, Echo Kellum, has been now brought on for next season, season five, as a series regular. For past season, season four, he's been only a guest star popping in and out, but now he's been upped to series regular, so his name will always be in the credits, he'll be in the opening, uh, and he'll be a much bigger part, so he might turn into the Mr. Terrific uh, that's been in the comics. If you want to check him out, also check out uh, Justice League Unlimited. Huge role he played in that, where for the first couple seasons, Martian Manhunter was kind of the, um, the brain trust of the group, and he would kind of send them out and coordinate missions. Well, uh, when Martian Manhunter went away, Mr. Terrific took over that role. Uh, so you want to go for that. And also, Beware the Batman used Michael Holt in the very first episodes, if you want to see that. He wasn't Mr. Terrific in that show, uh, just Michael Holt in that DC universe. Uh, we'll tune in next week for another episode of Character Corner. See you guys later.